The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update. Oh, let me get the charts out here. Sorry about that. This is your 9 a.m. update. And currently we have U.S. equity futures trading to the downside. You've got the Dow futures off about 100 and uh, 209 points. NASDAQ futures down 178. S&P futures off 40. Russell's down 15. You've got gold off three bucks. Silver's up 13 pennies. Platinum's down about two bucks. Copper's up a nickel. You've got um, natural gas up three pennies. 30-year Treasury is printing out at 109.10. That's off two full points out there. The uh, the uh, the uh, bond crash continues its way lower out there. And you've got the U.S. dollar index. It's up right now. Um, let's go take a look at what all this means or what to be paying attention to and to watch today. The first level is going to be the ES Mini as we take a look at our nine-panel market update chart. 42.53.50, that's the key level. That is a buy the D point pattern. If price closes below that, inside the ES Mini, we are headed lower. Spot volatility is still above its 50 day exponential moving average. It's always dangerous for the bulls out there because it gives sellers the edge. The NQ, now the ES and the NQ are the only two daily equity future contracts that have bottom patterns. The NQ has got a TD9 count bottom. That key level of support is 14,586. If price closed below 14,586, we're going to see an A to B equals CD to the downside pattern form inside of the NQ. What will give things conniptions? That would be the U.S. dollar index. It's got a Rosemontum indicator top. Price has pulled back. So far, it's found support at the top of that daily profile. The key for the markets to really rally, for metals to really rally, should be a U.S. dollar index that closes below 106.10. If it doesn't close below that, well, then we have a neutral signal because price will have held support with a top. In the case of uh, gold, you want to see it close today above 1830.90. That's a TD9 count bottom. Price closes below that, gold headed lower. Silver has a wave 7 and a TD9 count bottom. Its level to watch is 2085. You close below that, you're headed lower. Light sweet crude should target its daily breakout level, and that's at 78.94. Natural gas should target its daily breakdown level, and that's up at 343. And the 30-year treasury, we're at lows out here. You got China just dumping treasuries left and right out there. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien is up next. Have a fantastic Friday, and I'll see you Monday, 11 a.m. sharp. Take care, folks.